Off the beaten path of Lincoln Avenue, there's what some call a hidden gem of knowledge. I grew up with the Lincoln Gardens. The Evansville African American Museum is known by many as a cultural mecca, full of artifacts and stories like the one that's still being written about George uh, Russell <laughs> Flowers Sr. Uh, that uniform takes me back to my struggle to get to where I got to wear, to wear that uniform. The city's first black fire chief, he stands almost as tall as the case that holds his memorable attire. I think it's a lot of barriers that have been broken down in that uniform. Each stripe and seam hold a tail. I've had some threatening letters. Flowers face segregation and discrimination. I don't even worry about that. I'm just thankful that I stayed the course, that I held strong to the principles. He almost didn't make it to chief, diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1996. I don't like to build myself up. Maybe I need to pat myself on the back because I could have quit. With the words that come out of his mouth is so enlightening. And he doesn't, no shame in his game, like they would say, the kids would say. And he's just a phenomenal person. Eight out of the ten people that had went for the job had said if you had, you wouldn't get it, who would you select out of the crowd, the other applicants to get it? And they said George Flowers. That's a testament to, uh, you know, hard work will get you um, some acknowledgement and encouragement for those that's coming behind you. Flowers is what museum officials call a living legend. So it wasn't just George Flowers. Someone who made history. I ended up being the, the kid. And continues to give back. And that uniform is wrapped up with a whole lot of people. Someone who cares. When Sandra Matthews first came up with the idea, she was going to try to preserve and, 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 and take this and make it a part of our history. It was a wonderful idea. And then to later on look and see my uniform set up in here, um, this, this, this just blows my mind. You don't always need a George Flowers to talk to. The signs and memorabilia here speak for themselves. We want everybody to come. The Hispanics, the Latinos, the Caucasians, African Americans, anybody that wants to come, they can come. At less than 10 years old, the museum is an antique hall of fame. Whether it's business hours or not, there will likely be a light shining on a lonely uniform that uplifted so many.